What's up, everybody? It's I'm Danny. <laughs> <laughs> right into the intro. <laughs> No, no, you're good, dude. We're hanging out. Right. We're we got a guest chilling. today, a very, very special guest. It's Danny back here. Uh, no, the guest is not Danny. I'm Danny. We're back here at, at Excellent Sound with Parker Mint. With Parker. Tra- Travis Piper, let the people see your handsome face. How do you guys just not stare at this fucking screen the entire time? It's hard not to. I Look mean, at Kenny in the back. Yeah, really where? Nice. What's up, Kenny? Everyone <laughs> just looks so good on the fucking screen. Like I wouldn't even want to work on music. I just stare at this. I know. I, I look at myself all the time. I should be looking at you at handsome home. Handsome gentleman. We got so many good looking dudes in the studio today. <laughs> We're all here. Strapping young men with strapping awesome looking penises. Uh, okay. <laughs> I said, you know, there is no such thing as too far. I told him in the studio. <laughs> Zero filters. We're subtle. We're subtle. Um, so we're here today and we're going to teach you guys how to make some dope 808s because people always go, hey, bro, fucking uh, let me get one of those 808s. 88s. The meaty ones. The meaty ones. And actually, uh, this is our, are we announcing it now? We're announcing it. This is our announcement for our quick packs. Yay. Yay. Fucking confetti. There's Press a the clap. confetti button. We got uh, two quick packs out. Yeah, so we, we got to tell them what quick packs are. You do it. So we're going to be coming out with quick packs, basically really fast packs that are going to be fucking pumped with a bunch of samples, and it's going to be super cheap. So everything's going to be under Cheap. 20 bucks. Under so 20 bucks. The most expensive one is going to be 20 bucks, and yep. it's going to have shitloads of samples. So this one's going to be, I think we're going to do 15 bucks. 15 bucks, yeah. 15 bucks, and we're going to have like uh, 60 808s. It's called, uh, the not 60, uh, 30 808s, but 60 samples total. It's called uh, The Meat. The Meat. And it's and parentheses is Fat Ass 808s. Fat Ass 808s. We use cursing in our, uh, in our products. Is it ass with S's or Z's? Uh, have maybe the, money signs. Maybe dollar signs. You know? Maybe at symbols. Yeah. Symbols. <laughs> I can't talk. What are the at symbols really called? They have a name. Ampersands? No, that's yeah, and. I think that's right. No, no. Uh, at. It? At. No, at is at. Uh, a- ampersand is and. I know. I don't know what at is. Whatever the fuck it is. What's the hashtag really called? Is it called a hashtag? Yeah, it's called a, a pound sign. Yeah. Number sign. Anyway, so uh, I got three different ways to show you guys how to make 808s at home. I spent a long time trying to learn how to make 808s from my friends, like Travis, or from other producers, or from my own experience, or Parker, or whatever. Like, basically, this is everything that everybody struggles with. And there's essentially, I've brought it down to three simple ways. One of the ways is just choosing a good sample. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now, what I use to find a good 808 sample. Uh, the second uh, thing that we're going to go over is we're actually going to go over how to make a hip-hop sub uh, using one of stock Ableton's instruments, which is very, very helpful. A lot of people like Nightmare do this, and some other some other folks uh, use this technique. And then the third way, which we're going to give you guys for free in the download description below, is we're going to make an 808 in Serum. And we're going to show you guys how to do that and how to make it sound fat. So without further ado, that song you just heard is called uh, Cut This. Uh, me and Travis wrote that song about two years ago. We haven't released it yet. Uh, I guess I'm going to release it. He doesn't want people to know he wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, yeah, I wrote the song. Uh, anyway, so uh, I'm going to use uh, some of the techniques we use in this. And this one, this first one we're just going to go over is just how to make, uh, essentially, just choosing a good 808 uh, from a sample. So this is actually a top layered top kick, which is this one right here. So fat, bro. And then this is our 808 right here. I'm just playing it. I actually have the full session open, but I don't know. You should be able to hear it, but that's part of the reason why you want to pick a good 808. So I have those 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 samples separated here. We're just going to do just a little bit of processing, and then we're going to open up a different session. Uh, Kenny, can you pull up the Ableton? 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 Cool. So this is the uh, separated 808 just by itself. This is the original sample. This will be uh, in the uh, quick packs as well. All the 808s that you hear will be in the quick packs. But if you want the free uh, download description for Serum, it will be below. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is uh, the sample that we got here that we made, just the 808. And essentially, uh, what I'm going to do is, the problem with this is this is the really, it's um, it sounds really good, but I have this top portion right here. And there's already a kick in there, and I don't want that because it's going to conflict when I just layer them together. It's kind of just, you can hear that distortion because they're both fighting 
So a lot of times, sometimes you could find just two 808s. I've seen people do it where they just have like an 808 and a kick and they just put on right on top and then you're done. And it's like amazing. And that's kind of like this technique, but in this technique, we're just going to do a little bit more. Essentially, the reason why I chose this first uh, 808, this sub right here, is because when I play it through laptop speakers, I can hear it come through. Um, that's another big thing. It's because it that's has good saturation. Test. Yeah. iPhones, um, too. Well, sometimes you don't want, like, oversaturated 808s, but, like, yeah. If you can hear it on an iPhone or if you test it on a laptop, a lot of times that's a good 808 because it's going to come through. And that's basically is because they have um, saturation on the upper frequencies, which we're going to do, too. Do you have a reference on uh, iPhone earbuds? Sometimes, yeah. What do you do? Yeah, you're in this fucking video, dude. Um, for 808s? What? How do you? How do you? When you? When, you, when you're looking for a good 808, do you check like? I, you know, it's. It, I think. I think like the laptop to speakers is like the big thing, just because I think that. Like when people are listening to music, it's like even though these are club tracks, like a lot of people listen to like listen to them on like you said earbuds or you know their laptop speakers or like home audio or car shit so it's like i just go to one of those because it's where it's yeah. going to be played mostly but i mean that's yeah you said it right there so basically it's uh, called it's called the commercial out sign by the way i looked it up it, <laughs> just now yeah <laughs> sorry i keep getting in your way i'm trying to let the people no, 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 it's okay uh i am the star that's right yeah, Travis. No. um the front man. The front man. Um, so, yeah, basically, the reason why this is a good 808 is because it does sound good on a laptop. Uh, the other part, too, is uh, a lot of pe times people miss this. Sometimes they just completely EQ the low end out of their kicks. And sometimes they want to do that. But this top kick has a lot of punch in it. Um, so I kind of want to keep that punch. Um, but also, I don't want it to conflict with the low end. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and just add a quick fade right here. Uh, oh, yeah. Can you pull up Ableton, Kenny? So they could see. I gotta say that kick sounds awfully familiar. Yeah, I made that kick. Yeah. Uh huh. I made it in um, Nicky Romero's. <laughs> 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 anyway, so what you're doing is is you're essentially gonna fade this right here, just like this, uh, and I'm I'm gonna want to listen to both these samples at the same time. And let's do it. I just want it to open up just a little bit, so I can still hear the low end. And that's pretty much it. I mean, a lot of times that you really don't have to do much for these 808s. Like, that's part of the thing is that just finding a good sample. Danny, do you try to to use the fade to kind of groove the track? Kind oh, yeah. Like let me bring an LFO? Let me bring a point to that. Sometimes it's essentially what I'm doing is I'm creating a, a side chain. Cool. But it's 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 a lot of times it's cleaner if you fade your 808s because sometimes the side chain adds some clipping. But I, I, Travis, you always tell me all the time. You're like, uh, you're, whenever he uses a compressor, it doesn't make a sound whenever from side chain. But I do it all the fucking time. I can't ever. No, you're right. <laughs> it does you're do right. it, right? This is the better way. It's it's like one of those things where it's like it's like you. It's one of those things where you tell me something and I just want to argue. With you. <laughs> 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 the Ableton compressor for so like I love fucking Ableton, obviously, but I'm not a big fan of their compressor and. What are we on Ableton Nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I mean, it's like what you're doing is like what exactly what I do, or LFO tool, or fucking yeah. What's that other one? Something Shaper, Shaper tool. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. The Shaper Box plugin. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so, if I'm gonna pencil it in, like if for like I'd say like 99% of my 808s, like I do it like this. Yep. So that's why I do it, and that just makes it a lot cleaner. So you can see, like, there's nothing much to this one. It's just the point I wanted to go over on this in this project is just, like, picking a good punchy kick and picking a good 808 sample that you can hear and also possibly comes through on an iPhone or a laptop. The other thing, too, is um, if you take, like, an EQ, this is another thing I look for. Um, so essentially, if I put it on here, I'm just going to look at um, – oh, wait, you don't have – do you have an analyzer on your computer? You don't have span. Uh, I should have downloaded it. Spectrum. Spectrum. Use spectrum. Oh no, I could just do this. Hold on. How the fuck do you do this piece of shit? There we go. Okay. Bang on. So you could kind of see in in the analyzer here. You can kind of see that the low end is kind of hanging around for a while, um, and you can see some top in here too. That's just another thing that I kind of look for. If I see an 808 that just kind of just like I should still want to see the low end until it ends, essentially. Like I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah, you want it to be kind of like a shorter decay. Yeah, no, like I want to see powerful. that. I want to see the analyzer. I want to see the low end. Like I'll, I'll check another track. I'll check like um I don't know like a Jack U track because their low end's always really good. Yeah. 
And I'll look at their uh, sp uh, like I'll look at their track on a spectrum analyzer, and I'll see how long that that last frequency is hanging around for. And that usually is if I'm able to find an 808 that's like that, similar. Oh, that's a cool way of doing. Yeah, it. that's another way of, of finding a good aid. Well, you want to list use your ears first, but that's a visual aid that I use. So essentially, together we got this, and we're actually going to have that in uh, like the the quick pack. You're going to be able to get that one. Um, but yeah, in context, it's gonna <laughs> down below. Barker just rolls out with like hand signals all the time when I'm not even looking. <laughs> just like a mini pointer. So let's hear it. Uh, let's hear it in context. I have it right here, so you kind of already hear it. But this is the 808 that we just made um, by picking a good sample. Come on! Make it here. And if you if you are listening at home and you don't have headphones on, it should be coming through the laptop hopefully. So that's one way. All right. So one done. Pick a good sample. Find a good top kick. Done. Right. Number two. Let's go ahead and open up, uh, let's see, how did it make your 808 slam? Okay, this one we're going to be using uh, Hip Hop Sub Bass. Don't save. That's stock in Ableton, yeah? Stock in Ableton, yeah. If you don't already know, now you know. This is how I've, I've seen uh, a lot of people do this. So this is actually a remake I'm working on for uh, Boombox Cartel Hefe, possibly. Um, we're, we made the 808 for them um, for this song. Sounds like this. So we got a lot of requests for to do remakes on that, so we're working on it. But uh, just to show you guys how to make the 808, we're going to show you right now. Again, it does uh, it does start with a top kick, which this top kick will be, uh, along with the 808, will be available in that pack. Um, but we're going to show you the low end part of it which I'm going to show you right here, which is using operator. It sounds like this, just the 808 by itself. And what I, what I did to, what I did to show you guys is I essentially what I did is I took the main track and I just EQ'd the low end out. So it was just the drop instrument and a little bit of snare. Um, so what you're going to do is this top kick, actually, I think this is the no, it's a little bit different than the top kick that we were just showing. This one's a little bit different. I used, um, so it's I made a little this bit more attack. Yeah, and it's also like a little bit more uh, papery. Mm -hmm. Like there's like okay, so there's like there's certain type of kicks. There's like some that are like really click and like really clicky, uh, and really punchy. And then there's ones that are like more papery or like they kind of sound like um, when I went to Icon. This is like the vegetarian. The vegetarian. The yeah. Vegetarian. But area. no, like a lot of like trap uh, trap ones are a lot more like this, where it's like kind of sounds like it, my my mentor used to describe it as like poking, like it's like a poke. Yeah. Like a, you know what I mean? I don't know. Does totally. that make sense? Uh, so that's the type of top kick I use for this one. Um, you can use any top kick that you choose or just use the sample when you get the pack. Uh, but essentially what you're going to do is all you have to do to get this to sound like that is make a new MIDI track. Uh, open up. If you look up uh, hip hop sub, just like that. Oh, this is the secret sauce right here. Yeah, this shit's dope. Hip hop sub bass. And just go ahead and drag it right there. Um, essentially, this is already a preset uh, 808. It needs a little bit of processing. I'm going to just turn it down a little. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this MIDI down. Um, and what I did is I added uh, what's called a kick tight for the key of the song that I wanted. Uh, so let's see. What are we playing this one in? This one's in, this is in D sharp, so E flat, right? So if you add... This is also a uh, side note too. This is just a good sub bass that I use all the time. Um, they have different uh, overtones, uh, distortion amounts, stuff that you can essentially add to uh, give the 808 more texture. Um, but essentially what I did is I added a kick tight, which is a corpus preset. So if you go to uh, audio effects, corpus, kick tight, throw that on there. Um, you want to find the tune right here. Um, can you zoom in on the effects, Kenny? Yeah, one more over. It's coming. Uh, one more over. Nice. Uh, one more. <laughs> that shit is smooth. It's just it's making its way. All right, that's good. Okay, so right here on this tune knob, um, I know that my my uh, like I said, I I did it in E flat or or D sharp. So if I move this tune knob, I just want to get to D sharp. And that's going to add a lot of low end. Don't ask me what it does. Just like that.
like that on right off on so much more balls yeah that's a lot of bottom a lot more a lot more testicles um the next thing you can do i on this one i only did one saturator um, but adding a saturator, this is what we're going to use this to essentially saturate the top frequency so we can get that kind of lap, la, that laptop uh, coming through the laptop or whatever. I'm searching laptop. I'm saying laptop way too many times. <laughs> Let me go at there in EQ. Why am I more nervous that Travis is here? You're nervous? Yeah. I'm ha like, I feel like I'm... If it makes you feel any better, I'm just watching people live stream video games right now. <laughs> You're not even paying attention. <laughs> no, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'm not here. It's I don't I don't know your vibe is just you know it's just like My vibes. your vibes. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna be watching this real quick. See how it's like I said explained earlier the the low end is essentially going a lot longer in the spectrum analyzer. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on uh, <laughs> off clip. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it less awkward. A stern father's grip. <laughs> 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 okay, so. Uh, for the saturator, I'm gonna put it like two dBs, and then what I want to do, what you want to do, is you want to bring up what's called a frequency to note chart, which I think I have one up right here. Yeah, I'll pull that in, in the shot, just Kenny. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, so right here, essentially what I'm looking for is D sharp or E flat, uh, octave one, octave two, octave three, octave four. We're gonna do so it's three eleven point thirteen. So, okay, that's what I need to know. So you can go ahead and download this. It's free. You can go on Google. Just Google frequency to note chart. This is the one I use. And essentially, that's just uh, showing you where all of the harmonics are in uh, that key. Did I say that? Does that make sense, right? Yeah. Totally. So essentially, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to saturate this uh, band of frequencies right here at um, 311.13. Okay, so now I know that. So now I'm just going to go back to my saturator, and I'm just going to put the frequency to 311.13. 311.13. Amber is the color of your energy. Sometimes it doesn't get it right on, so that's fine. 311 is fine. 311. And then the base, I'm going to set it to plus 2. And I'm going to turn the dry wet down to like 60%. So you can add a bunch of different saturators and just keep going up. It doubles every time, uh, every octave. So now you can hear. It's a big difference. With the kick... And that's how that's how the boombox cartel 808 is made i think i think it sounds pretty close to it if i take off the the eq of this you can essentially hear it you can hear it a little bit so i'm gonna put that eq back on and hear ours pretty close right now it's fucking mean yeah well that's that was their 808 before I don't know if you saw that. That was like, uh, like we basically remade the 808 just by doing that. So you can do that at home, but just get a good top kick. Again, that'll be in the pack. All right, so now let's get into some serum stuff. This is going to be a quicker video, so we don't have to spend all day. All right, so next so thing. This I'm gonna, is number three, right? This is the third way, right? So the third way you're going to do is, is I'm going to add a new MIDI track. Uh, this is in the download description below if you want to go ahead and use this. Um, serum. Let's see. This is how you can make your own 808. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm gonna move this over so everyone can see at home. I'll move it back up just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So what you're gonna do here, um, we're gonna make, I think we've made this, we've made something similar to this before where we made like a good sub. But on this, on this instance, uh, we're going to make it more like a kick. And I usually layer with this, too. So it's another little fun way of doing it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the sub. Uh, I'm going to turn the level all the way up. Um, let's go ahead and let's put a note in actually really quick. I'm going to close this. This is going to make this real quick. What note are you going to pick? Um, I don't know. What, what note should I pick? Either from E to G. I kind of like F note. F? All right. F it is. I mean. I like F too. I don't like G anymore. I used to like G a lot, but now I don't. I like G. I just like F. I like E flat. I like F because F whole notes. F whole notes? Yeah, so then you could talk about your F hole. <laughs> <laughs> was that that build up was just insane yeah. for that. Nailed it. Done. And we're done. And Cut. done. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs>
Oh, it's going through with the. I'm gonna, you just gotta top oscillator. Yeah, ditch that. Well, actually, no. I, why is it plus four? When did that happen? All right, let's turn that off for now. So you can't probably hear that at home, but it's essentially a low end. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add basic shapes for oscillator A, analog, basic shapes. Uh, I'm gonna set the octave to plus one, just like that. Um, and I'm gonna turn the level down. And then that's pretty good for that. And then for oscillator B, I'm also gonna do basic shapes. And I'm also going to do a sine wave, except for this one, I'm gonna do it plus one. Oh no, they're both plus one. And this one's also seven semitones. So this is essentially adding different harmonics to it too as well. And I'm gonna turn the level down also. So I'm gonna be able to mix these in. So I might go like, okay, I'll take a macro and like, let's say put it on level one. And then we'll say this is like, first harmonic right or let's say first octave probably makes a little more sense I can't spell and then we'll put this on the second oscillator and we'll call this second octave which is making sense um, so essentially now what I'm gonna do is now I can take these and I can kind of blend them without having to go back and forth now it's just a long note right now so, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to make this more like an 808 so I'm gonna take my envelope one and I'm just gonna kind of pull it down like this. Um, the way I have it set at is I have the release up to about, what is that, 850? Oh no, I have a lot more than that. I have a long release time with this 808. Two thirds. Two thirds. Uh, attack, I have a slower attack to so that it doesn't hit right away uh, because I'm gonna have a top kick there. My decay is down a lot. Um, my decay is right about, let's see, wait, that's not, is that right? The hold knob. Why does it look like that? Oh, the sustain. The sustain's all the way up. Bam. So the decay is like right there. It's like 3.7. This is in the download description below. I don't know if you can hear that, but let's 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 get some, to be able for them to be able to hear it. Let's go ahead and add some distortion. So go ahead and open mm. up the effects. Mm. You use ASIM, right, Trav? Um, for my 808, you know, my favorite distortion. It, yeah, there it is. Diode one's my favorite distortion. Diode one. I mean, that's just me though. I like. I think in this one I used ASIM, but I like. Um, I like diode one too. Yeah, but it's just dirty. It's just this fucking dirty ass sound. Dirty ass. Like it's just like. <laughs> Nailed dirty. it. Dirty, I mean, yeah, I dirty apple. Really, really, really dirty. Way to hold back, dude. My yeah. mom watches this. Does she? Yeah. Fucking she goes. He goes. Shout out Lisa. Where's goes, my fucking pasta at? <laughs> Danny's mom, Danny's whole family, like, makes the most fucking insane Italian food. I think I'm fat as fuck. I know. <laughs> He's like this a dirty Italian dude. I mean, it's just, just that strong Sicilian nose. It's just a fucking great guy. Right. But that aside, the only reason I'm his friend is because his parents make the best fucking food. And because you hooked up with both of my cousins. On accident. On accident. Was an accident. <laughs> nice True slipped. story. <laughs> All right, let's get back in. I slipped and my tongue <laughs> fell inside them. Oh, God. Can you bring back the... <laughs> Can you zoom in, Kenny? Thank you. Thank you for that, Travis. Okay, so ASIM. Uh, if you were a girl, Danny, I might try it. Never mind. I saw you as a girl on that app. Oh, yeah. That looked good. I, mean, I looked I'd, pretty hot, yeah, too. Yeah, you did, too. That fucking face app. Have you guys played with that face? What is that called? It's like face swap? Oh, my God. I don't know, but... I look hot. I saw some dudes that, that were as girls and they were tore up. You look tore up. I remember. Yeah, you, I was yeah. a little tore up. You didn't. You were, they, they couldn't get rid of the mustache. No, it's literally called Face App. Face App. That app's funny. Are you pulling it up? Oh, he's doing it right now. Okay. <laughs> While you're doing that, uh, let's go ahead and add a. Uh, uh, let's uh, go ahead and add. Uh, let's do an. Um, it's like for this instance, we can add a macro on here. So if we want to boost this too, you can just add like distortion or whatever. Just disto, sure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going Damn, to. I would fuck the shit. Damn. Let me see. Damn. Hold on, I got it. How do you save it? Okay, add to collage. Damn, you got a oh, hat on too. Oh man. Here we go. Yeah. Go. All right, I'll let you guys do that while I oh, figure yeah, this yeah. out. Figure that out. <laughs> okay, so for envelope two, uh, I'm gonna make this one uh, a little bit more spiky, like this. Kind of like, I'm going to turn the attack down all the way. I'm going to turn the decay down. And I'm going to turn the release all the way down. So it's just essentially sharp. I'm going to go to the matrix. I'm going to open up uh, Master Tune. Um, so I'm going to go Global Master Tune. 
And then over here, I'm going to set as envelope two. I'm going to pull this up, I think, all the way to 100%. I think that's what I did. So essentially what I want it to do is I, I want it to, um, to hit like a kick. Actually, no, I don't have it at 100%. I have it at 44, so I'll go ahead and put it at 44. Oh, I know I'm on the wrong, we're over here. Oh yeah, I'll show them that in a second, okay. So you can kind of hear I'm making a kick. But see, this is too long. So let's go ahead and just play the MIDI note. There we go. So just by adding that matrix right there of uh, adding the uh, the master tune, set it at like 44, right there. So you can kind of hear it's adding that extra kick right there. Oh yeah, okay, so let's see how, well, let's take a timeout. Let's see how beautiful Travis looks as a girl. It essentially just looks like you, still the same. With makeup on. Is that focused? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Learning about 808s and dudes and, and, and drags. Oops. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. You're beautiful. You're Thank beautiful. You. All right. <laughs> so back to where we're at. Essentially, all we did is just add some distortion, play around with some different ideas. This is just how you do it. That's literally it. That's, that's how you make a dope 808. Uh, the other thing you can add too, just I added some noises here. I think I have, I think, I don't know if Siren comes stock with this. Let me know if it does in the comments down below. But you have some kick attacks that you can add. Um, and I can essentially take all these guys. Oh, let me move it over so people can see. Um, that's probably fine right there. So this attack right here, uh, I can set it on a one shot and probably to, to key track it as well. And that's just a kick attack. I can just add different kicks. That's pretty kill. That's it. And that's the third way. And that's in the download description. We made one for you guys below. Uh, before I do that, too, I want to just... Can I show them a couple of the 808s? Show them, like, two. Okay. Just two of the 808s. Yeah, because we're giving... We're giving how many away? We're giving three? No, we're not giving... We're only giving away the Serum one. Ah, uh, the Serum preset, so they could do it themselves. The Serum preset, and along with the Serum preset, I will give them the Serum 808 that I made with the top kick. Cool. Um, let me see if I could show them that really quick. Danny's new excellent folder. Let's see. There's some secret shit in here. Don't look. Don't look. Uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. So... Wait. Let's close that. Did I add it? Ah, here we go. Okay, so I like, um, I think the one that we're adding, I don't remember what I called it, but they're all named after like different styles of meat. <laughs> it's um, called the meat. This one, T-Bone's pretty sick. I don't know. It's T-Bone steak. It's oh, all the meat. Yeah, yeah. He just I said, why? <laughs> they're all named after different meats. I was like, wait, why is it called T-Bone? I was like, is that named after me? Yeah. <laughs> sure. That one's named after Travis Pfeiffer. I am just a giant That's, piece of meat. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm going to call yours Tube Steak. Tube steak. <laughs> so we're going to have one called Tube Will you make one? We'll call it yes, Travis Pfeiffer. Steak. make one called Tube Steak. All right. Look out for Bone Tube Steak in there, too. Shout out Tube Steak. Shout out Tube Steak. So go get it. It's out there. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not out yet. Not yet. It's com It's coming out. It's coming out. It might be. It might be up. Uh, it's probably coming out this week. Yeah, probably yeah. this week. This yeah. week. We'll let you guys know. Either way, um, or it's probably out by now. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Um. So yeah, thank you guys very much. That's it. That's three different ways how to make your 808 slamming. I hope you guys learned a lot from it. My name's Danny. I'm here at Excellent Sound, X L N T Sound. I'm here with Parker, Travis Piper. Uh, just had just. Oh, fuck. That's all good. Dope producer, go check him out. We've played his stuff on here before. Um, what do you have to say to the people? Uh, I can't say anything with your fat fucking head in the way. <laughs> Just don't give up on your dreams. There you go. Never gave up. Yeah. Cool. Never surrendered. So, yeah, make sure uh, you guys go ahead and uh, leave a comment, <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. I need to play some music to, to do this outro, right? Yeah, I don't got any can, music. We can roll out with some. Uh... Oh, wait, can you guys play any song? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we we got pulled sometimes. Do so. you, dude? There's this one. Uh, have you guys heard? Uh, oh my god, it's fucking. Trust me. It's, it's going off, dude. 
Hold on. Hold It'll on. get pulled. If it's popular. Is it? No, yeah. it's copyright. Uh, you don't know anything turn about up YouTube. Turn on the weekend by Branches and Big and Wet. That sounds sexy. Oh, dude, it's it's gonna change your. It's. I mean, I can't play it. I want to. Yeah, play we it can't play it. Okay. They're gonna pull it. Well, check it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> check it. Check it out. Check out Travis you heard Piper. It first. He is Trav Piper. Um, what are your? So- Do you care about plugging your socials? Ah, uh, no. no. I mean, fuck it. Trav Piper. Oh, he's too. It'll cool. It'll be down there. All right, let's go ahead and play this song out. Uh, we're out of here. Uh, Way to fuck up the whole video, Travis. Jesus. Jesus.